Hello again and welcome back to the Hardcore series. This video I'm going to be building a massive villager trading hall so I can have maxed out armor and at the end of the video I might just beat the ender dragon. This one's a doozy so let's get right into it. First thing you might notice is that I changed the wall a little bit. I thought it looked kind of boring being all the same height so I have alternated two blocks and a block and slabs all the way around. I think it's a nice little addition. Makes everything look a little bit more artsy. Yeah, artsy. Also, thank you guys so much for the name suggestions for my axolotls. A lot of you said that we should name the yellow one Mango because of my difficulty saying the word mangrove. So we're gonna name the yellow one Mango. We haven't got any ideas yet for the pink one, so leave those in the comments. But I also don't have any name tags, so for now, Mango and question mark. Beautiful. Dude, get off my property. This is trespassing. And then this area over here to the left of my house, I cleared out because this is where I plan on putting the villager trading hall. The plan for this video is to beat the game. That's the main goal. I want to defeat the ender dragon so I can go and get an elytra in the end cities. I cleared this area real quick just because I thought that would be kind of boring to watch. You're welcome. And this is where I plan on putting the villager trading hall. It is of course going to be my building challenge for this video. I'm trying trying to get better at building all things and my house looks great but let's do something new. This time I'm going all out. I'm not going to follow a picture or a video. I'm just going to wing it. I found so many villages on my way to this biome that I feel like it won't be too hard to find some villages I can steal villagers from. Uh, we'll deal with that after we build the trading hall. But without further ado, let's get set up. I have so much dark oak, it's not even funny. I'm of course going to set up all my t materials here because I'm literally just too lazy to have to keep running back and forth to my house. I am a little bit low on mangrove wood. I'm hoping it's not an issue since I don't plan on using planks. Or I mean, I don't plan on using logs. I just plan on using planks. And also, I'm just gonna bring my bed. I'm gonna live out there while I build this villager trading house. I'm also thinking about finally using deep slate tiles. I've used pretty much all forms of deep slate at this point except the tiles just to spice things up a little bit since we are using the same color palette. Also can you guys let me know in the comments what I'm supposed to do with this wall? It looks so sad still. But now that I have all my materials in line and the space laid out, I'm going to get to it. Okay, this was the plan in my head, but I feel like it's too small. So let's go for bigger. Go big or go home, am I right? What if I said I wanted to move it forward like two blocks? Oh. Yeah, that was just going to bother me forever if I left it. So after moving it all two blocks forward, I was happy enough with the placement to start building it up. This build was going so much faster than my last one because I actually knew what I was doing. Or, more accurately, I knew what I wanted to do. Let's be honest, this is not the channel of someone who knows what they're doing. Now, obviously I wanted to stick to a similar design theme as my house, so the roof is outlined in the deep slate tiles and I will be filling it in later with dark oak. The middle square is of course going to be a tower. What is it with me and towers? I don't know, but it's what I was picturing in my head. Here's where you see the no plan plan start to cause me some problems. I tried to freestyle a roof to the tower and dear God, that is the ugliest tower I've ever seen. Uh, you know, when I was up there, I was like, yeah, I'm onto something, dear Lord. Okay, let me try some things. As everyone's favorite space reptile once said, do or do not, there is no try. And I did it. I immediately tore down that disappointment of a roof and started again. I decided to make the corners hang down and I really liked the droopy look with the lanterns. I also balanced the amount of deep slate and dark oak wood better than the last time. I then added more fences and walls to give it some spice, couple windows with the mangrove trap doors for contrast. In general, I just aimed to make it taller because the last design looked so stumpy. And I'll just say this. Call me Frank Lloyd Wright, because I am an architect. From over here? Aw, oh, I already like it. I already like it. I'm proud of myself. Look at that. It's not bad. I don't suck. Wow, I actually like it. This is crazy, guys. Now that I was satisfied, I finished up the rest of the roof with the dark oak. I think what I'm learning is most important to be a good builder is to not be afraid to start over. I used to just commit to things immediately and never criticize my own design. 
I'm no longer afraid to admit when I've made something I don't like, which is the first step to improving it. Haha, uh -huh, not bad, right? On the bottom, I have a few ideas. I don't know if you guys know the YouTuber Wax Fraud. If you don't, you should check him out. He's insane. But he always does this on all of his builds. He does a wall, a fence, and a chain in the corner. And it just kind of adds a little bit of fun. But we're just gonna do this all around the outside. Oops, what? I forgot. On this wall, I have an idea. So we're gonna leave that one open. Okay, here, I'm gonna do this. See? It's like just a nice pattern. That's all I really wanted. Something to make the wall not blink. And then up here, I'll put like a window. Same thing, just on each side. So we'll put windows up there. First things first, I have an idea to use some azalea leaves. Let's see, we can, I'm pretty sure, do this and it'll make a tree. It's about to look stupid. If it doesn't work, it works. Let's go. So now we just need these flowering leaves or whatever. We can do these cauldrons here. Cauldrons? Yeah, cauldrons. And then some leaves. Isn't that cute? If you guys didn't know, the trick to building is add leaves to everything. I'm thinking about maybe putting some leaves up here as well. I also feel like I want to fix this. <laughs> That's because it's so sad. I also did a little bit of off-camera mining. I know, don't judge me, but we found a new axolotl friend. This one is light blue. Leave more name suggestions in the comments for the blue guy and for the pink guy. We already got mango. I went ahead and put leaves going up the support beams of the tower and I'm quite happy with how that turned out. I really like the overgrown look. I think it's quite cute. Something needs to happen here. I can't figure out what. Oh my god. I just watched that happen. You know what? We're gonna wait here until those people leave. If they go in the house, I'm going to cry. You've gotta be kidding me. Anyways, the next thing I wanted to do was refine the peak of the four roofs and make it so I could hang a lantern off them. Also maybe give it a little bit more of a droop to tie in with the tower. Then I also did the door and I kept it pretty simple and similar to how I have the door on my house. I think I've been spotted. They're gonna regret ever messing with me. Okay, cool. I think I'm gonna work on the windows now that I plan on having here and all around. Okay, I have 12 glass. I'm definitely gonna need more than that. I do in fact hate my life. The windows on each of the four wings was next on the list and I wanted to make them sort of rounded. So I punched out a three by three square and added stairs. And then I added a flower pot with a little azalea bush in it. We could do like flower boxes going across here. Ooh, that's smart. Wait, I'm so smart. <laughs> I tried a couple flower box type designs, but none of them looked good, so I opted for just putting the flowering azalea leaves straight across, and I think that helped brighten things up. I think I'm moving away from the scary, probably haunted Victorian house vibe and getting closer to cozy place to live vibe. I felt pretty good about the exterior, so I moved on to doing the floors, another borrowed detail from my house with the checkered deep slate pattern of the tiles and bricks. From the inside, I can now add the glass panes to the windows on the second floor, and I of course encountered more pillagers because they just won't leave me alone. In the center of the building, I made a small staircase out of mangrove wood going up to the second floor. And then at the top of the tower, I decided to just place a glow berry going all the way down to keep things nice and bright. It was now time to decorate the inside so that it could function as a villager trading hall and also look good. First, I thought it would be nice to have a little library section at the end of each wing for my librarian villagers. And then I started setting up workbenches everywhere for the other villager jobs. Mainly fletching tables for the stick trades, but also one or two cartography tables for the paper trades. Now, barrels are also job blocks for villagers, and fishermen are kind of useless to me, but I figured that wouldn't be an issue. This is foreshadowing. It was an issue. In general, I tried to just go all out with the details. I added some spore blossoms to the ceiling, put carpets in places, potted plants, more azalea leaves, a couple paintings, some signs, and plenty more. 
At some point, I decided to remove the spore blossoms because they were giving me The Last of Us vibes, and although my name is Ellie, I don't think I am immune. Lastly, I gave some sheep some haircuts and used their wool to make a bunch of beds to keep on the second story of the villager trading hall. Okay, so here's the full tour of the inside of the villager trading hall. I wanted it to be more of a villager trading home. I've got cartography tables, um, brewing stands. Back here is where I'll have like the, the librarians for all my enchants. They can go in these little slots. Okay, up here is probably just not going to be very artsy like the first floor because I'm just going to put a bunch of beds. The next step is going to be actually bringing the villagers in and also tidying up the outside. I think the right course of action to finding a village that I can steal some villagers from is to take a boat and go out to the sea because I can easily bring a villager back in a boat. It's very difficult to bring a villager back across land because they don't really want to follow you. Oh wait, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Guys, remember what happened last time I went exploring in a hardcore world? I lost my house, cause I'm dumb and didn't write down the chords. All right, we're writing down the chords. Let's be a reminder to all of you to write down the coordinates of your house. Now I did come across so many villages when I was trying to find this dark oak biome, so I can't imagine this is going to be very difficult. Man, I need to learn to hold my tongue. Of course, it took me so long to find a village, but thanks to the magic of digital editing, what was hours of my life will only be a couple seconds of yours. It sucks that last episode I found like a million villages just because, and now that I actually want to find a village, I can't. Please tell me that's what I think that is. Please. Yes, uh, we did it. You gonna get in that boat? There you go. All right, the kidnap is successful! Making my way back home was of course a lot easier because I was following the coordinates and not just blindly exploring. Yes! I'm a genius. Home sweet home, villager buddy. Oh my god, where are you going? Please. There you go. Where are you going? Don't tell me you're in there. What are you doing? No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why are you drowning? Yeah, come on. Come on, look at it. You can get in the house. He did it! Yes! Oh my god, this is the best day of my life. That's right, you go up there. Okay, it's not over yet. We gotta head back out. But luckily, I know where everything is. It shouldn't be difficult. Then we'll be fine. That guy didn't drown. <laughs> We're okay. The second kidnapping was underway immediately, and this time I had no trouble locating that village. Once the captive was aboard the ship, we sailed on home. Yeehaw. All right, this is it. The second villager is making its homecoming. This dude's probably gonna be like really annoying to get into the house, but it's okay. That's right. Take it all in. Ooh, this one came in so easily. Oh my God, thank you. <gasps> yes, he's a Fletcher. Okay, that's what we needed. Want some sticks? I knew you would. You guys gonna have children? Maybe? <gasps> yes! It happened! Yes! After that, I spent a significant amount of time just feeding my villagers and adding more beds to the second floor until I just had a full-blown workforce ready to do my bidding. Sort of. So yesterday on stream, I decorated the outside of this villager trading hall. I added this nice path with the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern lights. I also added a lot of foliage. That's twitch.tv slash elliesaur with the S is a five. If you guys ever wanna check that out, I do stream four times a week. The next up is dealing with all these guys. Oh my Lord, there's so many of them and they're making more. There is just one thing I want to add to this house and it's some sort of detail to this side roof. I really like the look of the mangrove trapdoor. So I kind of think that we could incorporate something with these trapdoors, because look at them. Oops, I just messed up. But look at them, they're so cool looking. Ooh, I think I like that. Yeah, that just looks so good. Okay, we're gonna do this. I then went ahead and added all the mangrove trapdoors as the final detail to the house. So, something I may have neglected to mention that I did on stream was I decided it would be a good idea to kill all of the villagers that didn't have jobs. I just needed villagers who would have jobs, and I thought that that was the best course of action. 
At least gonna commit mass murder. Not mass murder, just like a little bit of murder. It turns out that any bit of murder was the wrong amount because all of the villagers hated me, which made all of the trades expensive. And then they decided to spawn an equally angry iron golem. Are they mad at me? Because I think I, I did commit a little bit of mass murder. Oh, yep, they're mad at me. Oh, this is a good, this is a good. Well, luckily they can't get to the first floor. So what if I just leave them on the second floor and then like call it a day? <laughs> For the next several days, I painstakingly traded with these villagers to try and get good enchanting books. Turns out the best way to make villagers not upset with you is to just level up their traits. So by the end of it, everyone was happy. Okay, I have been non-stop trading for way too long and here's what i got we have five mending books which is enough for all of my armor and another tool um i give up the villagers hate me so much everything is too expensive i cannot be bothered to keep going i can't go upstairs because the iron golems want to kill me and yeah so we're just gonna stop with the trading for now let's start with my pickaxe efficiency four dang that's all it has oh that kind of sucks it's fine Unbreaking and protection, fire protection, not bad. Unbreaking protection four and depth strider. Do I need to make a grindstone? Cause I don't want just depth strider on my boots. Give me something better. More than just depth strider, please. Okay, depth strider, fire protection, we'll take it. So now we've got full enchanted armor. We're gonna put mending on all of these and we're gonna put mending on this uh, pickaxe. I better have enough levels for this. Please check me out. Fully enchanted. Well, not like fully, but like close enough. Really decently enchanted diamond armor uh, and one decently enchanted diamond tool and another sort of enchanted diamond tool, which will help me go to the nether, which is the next step. We're gonna go to the nether, we're gonna get netherite so we can get better armor and we are going to get stuff to beat the ender dragon, AKA blaze rods. Up until now, I've just been building silly little houses and playing this silly little game, but it's about to get real. I have to go to the nether and I don't like caves and the nether is like a whole other world of mobs, literally. I will at some point make a portal that's like kind of pretty, but for now we're just gonna go with function over form. I got this obsidian last episode, if you remember. Ah, scary. I'm of course going to be wearing some boots so that the piglins don't get mad at me. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is get the blaze rod so I don't have to worry about it later. And then we'll go mining for netherite. <laughs> Let's hope I'm prepared, shall we? No, I'm just kidding. This is cool, I guess. I'm afraid. I like to build a little hut around my portal, just in case. Just to make sure it stays uh, lit. Okay, portal house has been made. Let's just pick a direction and go into that way, I guess. I really need some, some little piglin dudes. Ooh, you guys want to trade? I got stuff for you. You guys want to trade? We're looking for splash potions and ender pearls. Yes, okay, we got one fire res potion. Oh, four pearls, nice. I'm just gonna put the goods away so that my inventory isn't clogged. Now it is time to get down to business. Let's get down and then we're gonna go <laughs> not defeat the Huns. What are we doing? We're going to the fortress, which is gonna be somewhere. I spent another couple hours of my life running aimlessly through the nether to try and find a fortress, but I actually found it very relaxing. Bro. Jeez Louise! <laughs> ah! Don't you just love how Minecraft is such a cozy game? What? Oh my god. Did I do it? I did it. This is gonna be scary though. Ooh! Okay, found it. Woo! I got- did I get one? I didn't get one. Ow! I got one. Ow! There's so many of you, and there's only one of me. Ah! Uh, ah! Okay, is that it? Is that it? This might be it. I think we're gonna call it a day. After writing down the coordinates of the blaze spawner, I very slowly and very carefully made my way back to my portal with my 12 blaze rods. 
Oh my god, what a journey. So obviously the next step is mine for netherite, but this pickaxe just isn't gonna cut it. I need to go enchant this a little bit more because it just loses durability way too fast and I don't wanna deal with that. Now that I was back in the overworld, I took some time to trade with my villagers to get more emeralds, and then I tried to get a librarian villager who would give me an unbreaking book. Destroying and replacing villager blocks to get good trades is one of my least favorite things to do in Minecraft, but it is necessary, especially when, like me, you don't have an XP farm and you can't just enchant a bunch of pickaxes in an enchanting table to get what you want. Unbreaking 2? I don't even care. We're going for it. I don't even care, bro. Okay, we're gonna put Unbreaking 3 onto this pickaxe. Now we can go to the nether and do some mining for netherite without having to worry about my pickaxe breaking that quickly. All right, we're digging straight down. Not, well, okay, not straight down. We're digging down, we're making a staircase. The mine is happening. Now in the nether, Y level 16 is usually best, 16 or 15 for netherite. So that's where we're gonna go. Y level 15, here we are. If you're new to my channel, this is my favorite way to mine for netherite. Just straight up lines. I've never really felt very strongly about like the bed method or TNT. This is my favorite way to do it and also when my pickaxe gets tired I can just mine some quartz and the mending will heal it right up. I found my first piece. Oh my god it's beautiful. Tell me there's more. Tell me there's more. Okay this game hates me. Now this trip was actually pretty successful and in the hour and a half I spent mining I found 24 pieces of ancient debris which is enough for six netherite ingots. I really like mining for netherite because you can relax and watch a show or YouTube at the same time, and it's fun. And that's what playing games is all about, having fun. I also did a little trading with piglins before I went back home to get some more ender pearls because I only had eight from the last time I traded. All right, here's my nether hall. Pretty good. Check out all the ender pearls that I have. There's more in this chest somewhere. There's more. Oh my gosh. Look at how many ender pearls I have. We're golden. 24 ancient debris. I'm gonna go ahead and smelt this right now so we can start upgrading my armor. It is a smithing table, right? Or am I having a stroke? Is this about to be useless? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I have plenty, just enough for all of my armor and the two tools that I have. Ready? Oh my god, it's happening! Wait, I'm about to get a huge achievement. Yeah! <laughs> Look at me go! Whoa. Do this. We'll start with 12 eyes of ender and we'll bring extra blaze powder. What else do I need to bring with me to the end? I just accidentally went into decorating mode. What is wrong with me? Oh, right. Let's enchant a bow super quickly. 13. Power two. I'm lazy. We're taking it. Time to throw the first eye. Where should we throw it from? This big open space, shall we? And begin. Oh, straight backwards. Okay. Goodbye, sheepies. It is time. We're going to the end. Goodbye, home. Wish me luck. When I come back, I will be a changed man. Luckily, the ender eyes were leading me in a straight shot away from my house, and I saw some very pretty scenery on the way. Can we take a minute to appreciate how far Minecraft has come? Like, it did not look this good when I was playing on my brother's Xbox in the basement after school. At some point, the eye flew backwards, which meant I had passed it, and sure enough, I was able to follow the trail downwards. I have found it. It's here, somewhere. Okay, it's time! I feel so much fear, but it's fine. I really hope it's right under me and I don't have to dig around a little bit. Woo! Piece of candy. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm afraid. It's too late. We're going. It's happening. Apples. Cool. Free pickaxe. I'll take it. Okay. Staircase down. I think this is promising. No, it's not. Ah! Duh! <gasps> oh! Is that what I think that is? Oh my god, it is. I'm here, guys. I'm here. <laughs> there are no pearls in the portal. That's crazy. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I have to make two more eyes. Okay, here we go. Yikes. Here we go. It's happening. Whoa, it's happening. I gotta psych myself up. Hold on one second. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. This is easy. This is easy. You know, no, this is fine. This is fine. You never died in a hardcore world like this. It's always been something stupider. Okay. Yeah, that was terrifying. I eat. 
Ender dragons for breakfast. Oh my god, it's it's her. She's here, it's her, and it's me. And we're here and we're together. All right. We're putting water everywhere. Kind of want to take a selfie with the dragon. Yes, the selfies. It's so good. Dude, stop looking at me. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Why do I keep singing Mulan? Ouch. Okay, there's two left and they're in cages. I just gotta get those and then we're good to go. Down we go. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, now I can just start shooting her. No! Stop! I was doing so good! <laughs> ah! No! Please! Oh my god, she's so low! Oh, it's happening. This is it. This is the moment. Please! 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 <laughs> oh my god, I did it. <laughs> I did it! Yes! I'm so proud of myself! Yes! I did it, I did it, I did it. There's water everywhere. Let me get this real quick. No! Did that just put the egg somewhere in spawn? I'm so upset. Okay, well my only option is to get the dragon head, I guess, which means I gotta go to the end cities. Ready? They always do this! Now we do our exploring and try and find ourselves an end city with a ship. The fate of this universe is resting on my left pinky. Oh! There's a thing! There's a thing! Guys, guys, there's a thing! No! Ugh. Oh, shoot, there's so many of you. Oh, there's just two. You're telling me there's not chests in here? Isn't that the point? You're it? This is it? This is- that was the whole thing? Not any loot. We're gonna steal all these things, because they're fun. And then we're leaving. Please be what I think that is in the distance, dude. Yep, the decision's been made. This game sucks. This is insane. How have I found two already? This happens every single time I try to play this game. The whole entity, once again, no loot. This is now my third thing. Like, my third city. If there's not a ship, I'm actually gonna cry. I have been doing this for hours. Ooh. <gasps> Fortune pick. Oh! Sheesh, look at all this gold. Okay, which way did I come from? Which way do I have to go? All right, fourth time is the charm. <gasps> look at her, she's beautiful. <laughs> please, please, I'm not here, I'm not here. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Gimme, yes! Look at, I got it. Ooh, check me out. I did it, I came all this way and I did it. I made it, I'm so cool. Armor, efficiency five and mending. Cool. <gasps> Some diamonds. How do I, do I break it with a pickaxe? Yep, break with a pickaxe, okay. I have it on, right? Oh! I did it, <laughs> I'm doing it. Home again, home again. Jakey Jake. And it puts me back right here, grab all my stuff. Grab my bed, and we're just gonna dig straight up. That's right, we did it. Welcome home. All right, that is all I wanted to accomplish for this episode, and I'm really happy about it. In case you're wondering, this is day 202 of this world, which officially makes this the longest hardcore world I have ever had. But stay tuned for more, and I will see you in the next episode.